Hey everybody, I wanted to make a quick video on the four best fat loss habits that I've come to figure out over the past few years. What's really worked for people and really the, the key thing is that these are habits, right? There's the ketogenic diet out there, there's intermittent fasting, carb cycling, and these will all work if you can stick to them. But those diets, unfortunately, are very hard to stick to and when it comes to progress, the number one thing that we've seen uh, that kind of correlates the most with progress is consistency. So we want to set up habits because habits are something that don't seem too overwhelming um, that you can do consistently for the rest of your life. And so really quick, uh, you know, I'm going to lay the rest out in more detail in my blog post, but here are the four habits. I'm going to read them right off to you. So, so first of all, consistency is the key. But number one, you want to make sure that no matter what you're doing, you're exercising at least 20 minutes a day. And basically what this means is you're getting your heart rate elevated and you're doing something steady for 20 minutes. Now there may be some days, right, where you get more than 20 minutes and that's awesome. You can give yourself a pat on the back and you could even say, hey, maybe 20 minutes isn't enough. But I'm telling you, keep it at 20 minutes because as soon as you bump it up to 60 minutes, there's probably going to be days where you just can't get that in. And that's okay. Right? If you focus on that 20 minutes, you're going to be able to, to go over without missing too much. Whereas if you set the target too high, the chances of you missing it are more likely and, and then you're kind of playing that mind game with yourself. So number one, try and exercise for 20 minutes a day. And of course, that's very doable, especially if you're very busy. <coughs> Excuse me. Number two, eat until you're 80% full. And eating until you're 80% full is kind of subjective. But one way you can kind of tell if you're getting to that point is if after your meal, you eat or you're full for about three to four hours. So if you're getting hungry at like one to two hours, you probably didn't eat enough. Um, and if, you know, after you eat your meal, you're like lethargic, you kind of get that, uh, what I consider the China buffet effect where you just like want to sit down and sleep, uh, then you probably ate too much. So try and find the happy medium um, and 80% full where you're satisfied. Um, number three is eat three meals a day. So by kind of getting in a consistent eating uh, schedule throughout the day, you're going to get more calories in, or at least you'll get them in consistently throughout the day. Most people who uh, I found have been trying to lose weight or, or drop fat for a long period of time actually don't eat enough calories. So by spreading it out in three equal me meals, you may be even eating more calories. It's going to help you fuel your body for the exercise that you're now doing. Um, and also what I find is if you, if it is more than you're eating, sometimes you even get even hungrier, right? But you're going to notice a boost in your energy. You're going to feel better. And in the long term, this is going to be a great play for you. And then finally, you want to drink more water than you are right now. So a lot, some of you, you know, may be drinking, you know, four or five bottles of water a day. And some of you may be drinking one and that's okay. All you want to do is shoot to drink, maybe, you know, and add a cup of water to what like your average is and then Hit that and get that consistently. Once you do that, get a little bit more until you're hitting about half your body weight in ounces. So those are the four tips. Again, I'll, I'll run through them in the summary really quick. Be consistent with exercising about 20 minutes a day, eating until you're 80% full, eating three meals a day, and then finally drinking more water than you are now. And you're going to have more energy. Okay, You're going to get stronger. Your metabolism is going to improve. And ultimately, you're going to be burning fat in a sustainable way that you can do it for the rest of your life. So I hope that was a helpful video for you all. Um, and stay tuned for the next blog post, YouTube. If you'd like, you got some links below uh, that'll send you over to our website where you could set up with a free uh, consultation with us where we can kind of go over these habits in more detail with you. We can get you set up so that you can live the life that you want. Have a great night and we'll talk to you next time.